Do you see this logo right here? Exactly, it's an XPG Battle Cruiser case and you have it in black and white edition. Now I've seen this case on Computex 2019 and I have to say I was really impressed. First I was positively shocked to see XPG produce a case and now we have it for review. Now first of all we have a few things to do, actually four things, they are four millimeter thick. So it's really impressive case just by the looks and when it comes to cooling and stuff like that you have already pre-installed three 120 millimeter fans on front and one 120 millimeter fan at the back. They're all addressable RGB. You have a prime controller for the addressable RGB inside. You have the possibility to place 360 radiator on top, 360 radiator on the front and you have the possibility, well, 120 millimeter radiator at the back. Uh, adding that you can place two 140 millimeter fans on top and two 140 millimeter fans on the front. You have loads of possibility, it's a tool-less design, a great airflow and when I say great air airflow up on front uh, without even testing it, I mean you have an opening right here for the fans, you have an opening right here because it's between the tempered glass and the fans and you have a mesh front so you can basically get the idea how the airflow goes in, well how the air goes in easily because it has a nice distance from the front tempered glass and these side openings to the fans so that is quite all right. It's around two centimeters so yeah let's start with opening the side panel and getting inside the case. You have seven PCI brackets and you have two more which are vertically designed so you could place your graphic card vertically you just need a riser cable. In the accessory box you get uh, stickers from the XPG, you get a bracket for your power supply, you get velcro ties, you have the zip ties and you have standard screws for your power supply, for your motherboard, additional, well I don't think you need additional standoffs because they're already placed. When we're talking about motherboards you can place ITX, micro ATX, ATX and even EATX motherboard. Since we're talking about motherboard, the next thing are cables. And this is the first case I'm actually seeing this uh, here on the side part where you put the motherboard on the right side. You have loads of openings for the cables so you can nicely arrange them without any problem. And that's not all because you do have a metal uh, chassis standing behind those rubber uh, covers that cover the cables and so they don't get destroyed uh, scratching uh, on the metal part. You have the metal chassis that holds and can hold for instance pump or reservoir or whatever you want. Also on the power supply shroud you have two brackets where you could just remove the thumb screws and then you get this. Basically you can manage most likely an SSD over here, you can place uh, some extra stuff right here and with all of that you have an extra bracket here that you could place a pump for instance or you could get an opening here for your hard drives which basically you access from the other side. So when we're talking about the other side let's go to that. The other side opens the same way so you just untie the two thumb screws, you slide the tempered glass and you pull it out. Basically you have loads of stuff going on here, first of all loads of cables, but uh, that's mainly because you have loads of uh, addressable RGB fans, so you have two cables per fan. Uh, you have two slots here for your uh, 2.5 inch SSD and one on front, so that's three for uh, 2.5 inch SSD and you have two brackets here for your hard drives. Uh, you have loads of space for the power supply, you have 220 millimeters space for that, you have 400 uh, millimeters space for the uh, 
for the graphic card and for the CPU cooler you have a height uh, limit to 170 millimeters so basically enough talk we're going to build inside and use other XPG products like RAMs SSD AIO and definitely power supply which when I'm talking about power supply let me introduce it to you so this is it this is the XPG core reactor 750 watts gold 80 plus gold fully modular power supply which is really interesting because uh, I saw it also on Computex they have a couple of models as well and this is one of them so here we go you get a nice bag which holds all your cables here we go all cables are nicely uh, sleeved not fully at the end there are standard cables but then again it's quite the right to have it and not the, those ketchup mustard cables Ooh, still smells fresh uh, this is it this is the power supply 120 millimeter fan you have standard motherboard connection 24 pin connector you have 4d cpu and uh, graphic card uh, four uh, five connections and you have four connections for sata and molex basically this is it we're going to take uh, e atx motherboard just because so i can show you basically how much space this case has let's go what to say about the xpg battle cruiser case it's out of the first try they make a brilliant case and I'm not talking because they have uh, two cases I only got the battle cruiser here for the review and I have to say I'm really impressed just because they managed to do something some of the manufacturers can't do and I'm saying this because they have a tempered glass on front you have a distance you don't have anything here the intake is quite all right for the graphic card and for the airflow through the case you have a nice air airflow on the top with a magnetic dust filter so you can remove it easily uh, you can remove the top panel just with two thumb screws here at the back push it back fairly easy and the one thing I decided to do in this case, which I usually didn't, uh, well, mostly because the other cases didn't uh, have support for EATX motherboard, I placed the MSI uh, Meg X570 godlike motherboard inside just to see how the EATX has space for everything. Okay. So let's talk temperatures. We have, I used heavy loader. And after 20 minutes, uh, the temperature on the processor reached 70 degrees. It was holding 60, 68, 10 minutes, 69, uh, 8 minutes or something, and then it reached 70, and then it stopped. Uh, I do have to mention, uh, this was a test on AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. So I don't test only on Intel processors, here we have an AMD processor as well. But when it comes to graphic card, we have the RTX 2060 Gaming uh, X here. And of course in game it was, I was playing PUBG and Ultra Details and the temperatures were like this. So with 100% load, 99% load on graphic card since the processor is uh, too strong for this card. Uh, the graphic card was working from 99, 95 to 100% constantly and the temperature were, was actually really surprising, like 65 uh, degrees Celsius and maybe because the fans from right here have loads of opening and they push cold air right through the graphic card which is really nice. So basically XPG Battle Cruiser, well in general XPG really did an amazing case it looks brilliant it has a completely different front panel which I really love it has dust filters on top on bottom as well and in the front you have four sides of tempered glass which are really cool and very easy to remove and this is definitely the case if you're looking for something with loads of space loads of cool modularity options 
and well you can place your card vertically you can place an EATX motherboard you have loads of options for the cables 360 on top 360 on front uh, pump res pump res combo whatever you want you can manage here and that is what I love about this kind of cases the links are below for you guys to check out the prices and well basically that is it see you next time in a new video new review and well some really cool stuff coming up. Thanks, bye bye.